Welcome back to GMAC Club. Today we're talking about data insights. And if you're someone who thrives on data, this is your golden opportunity. In this section, you'll be tested on critical skills like interpreting data, analyzing trends, and making decisions based on real world scenarios. In this video, we'll show you how to turn these abilities into a scoring advantage with strategies that will help you stand out from the competition. Step one, get familiar with GMAT data insights. First things first, the data insights section includes topics like data sufficiency, graphical interpretation, multi-source reasoning, table analysis, and two-part analysis. Knowing how to approach each section is a challenge in itself. This section consists of 20 questions, which you need to complete in 45 minutes. That's about 2.15 minutes per question, so you cannot miss but have great time management. Step two, take a diagnostic test. This will be the true reflection of your preparation. This will help in setting a baseline score, which will decide how you have to move forward with your preparation. Head over to GMAT Club and take one of their free practice tests, or you can also use the free tests provided by MBA.com. When you take this test, try to simulate real test conditions. Find a quiet space and resist the urge to Google anything. I know many people do this while taking exams at home. This will give you the most accurate picture of where you stand. Step three, strategize on GMAT focus. Every section contributes equally to the complete score. For example, for every one point you earn on data insights, it will increase your GMAT score by seven points. You can use the GMAT score calculator on the GMAT Club's website to estimate how much you need to improve in each section to reach your target score. Many people find data insights a bit hard and challenging. So I suggest that instead of getting stuck on a topic, you can improve your other sections of the test and you can play around with a calculator and find what works best for you. Step four, identify your weaknesses. Look at your practice test results. Which question types made you feel uneasy? Was it the tricky data sufficiency questions or maybe some of those multi-source reasoning problems? Well, here is where the error log comes in handy. Make sure you're updating it regularly and reviewing it every once in a while. Here's how to use it effectively. Note down every question you get wrong or struggle with. Write down why you got it wrong. Was it misinterpreted or a time management issue? Research the correct method to solve the problem. Try to solve similar problems to make your learning better. This habit of tracking mistakes is one thing that separates the cream layer. So make sure you do it. And if you don't like entering your mistakes manually, you can use GMAT Club's automatic error log. It works together with a timer and records any question you attempt on the GMAT Club for free. Step five, create your study plan. Now we're getting to the main stuff. It's time to build your data insights study plan. I'll put a link in the description where you'll learn exactly exactly how you'll make a proper study plan. To start with, you can check out GMAT Ninja's lectures. They're free and packed with some valuable insights given by none other than the GMAT Ninja himself. Use these practice questions from the GMAT club after you attend these lectures to make sure you're getting a hold of the concepts. Aim to solve at least 10 problems a day. It might seem like a lot, but it is what it is. If you prefer online study, consider courses like eGMAT, Magoosh, Manhattan Prep, Target Test Prep, or Experts Global. They come with everything that you need, including practice tests and quizzes. Plus, most offer free trials, so you can try them before committing. Aim for one to two hours of consistent study every day. Note that I'll leave every link in the description down below so you don't have to worry. Step six, immerse yourself in the GMAT Club community. Join the GMAT Club forums where you'll find tons of questions, error log timers, quizzes, practice tests, flashcards, and thousands of free resources. Here you can engage with other students, discuss certain topics, and learn about what their journey is like, how they're preparing for a certain section, what their challenges are, and etc. There's always something you can learn. Step seven, practice, analyze, repeat. Now that you've got your plan, it's time to execute. Do daily practice. Create a practice test of three easy, four medium, and three hard questions. You can use the GMAT Club's form quiz where you can practice sectional tests to evaluate your performance in the end. Analyze your mistakes in depth. Use the error lock tool to track your progress, and most importantly, be accountable and work very hard towards your dreams. Make sure to use the MBA.com two free tests, which you can reset up to two times so you get six practice tests in total. If you need more practice tests, you can always purchase additional tests. As you approach your test date, here's a quick checklist. Take at least two to three full-length practice tests under real exam conditions. Review all questions and not just the ones you got wrong. Make sure you answer every question. 
If you have time left, use it to review some hard questions again, but don't spend more than three minutes, else you'll run out of time. Don't neglect your strong areas. Keep them sharp while working on your weaknesses. Stay calm and confident. Remember guys, this journey isn't about being perfect from the start. It's about consistent improvement, smart preparation, and a lot of hard work and dedication. Give it your all, but also remember to enjoy the process. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. We've got more GMAT related videos coming your way. Share this video with your study buddies or anyone you know who's on their GMAT journey. And if you haven't seen our previous video on GMAT Quant, make sure to check it out. It's packed with study insights that you don't want to miss. Now, see you guys next time. Till then, keep studying and keep rocking.